we're excited. Today we're going to our first festival in, I can't even remember when, in nearby Burton, Texas. The Cotton Gin Festival is going on today. It's a beautiful day. It's celebrating the, I think, US's oldest operating cotton gin from the 19, early 1900s. So yeah, we're excited to check it out. Model A. Uh, it was last restored in 2004. It had a Hemmings nut and bolt restoration done on it. Uh, my game plan is to keep this car as original as I possibly can. We are not hot rodders, and uh, you know, I just like history. That's awesome. Is that the original engine? It is. Well, we found the Cotton Gin Festival sign right outside the Cotton Gin, and yes, this is the oldest continuously, no, nope, not continuously. Yes, this is the oldest operating cotton gin in the United States. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So here's the old cotton gin right here. It opened operations in 1913. And, and then it went to about 1974 and then it was dormant for many years. In 1986, some investors from Houston, Texas, <laughs> tried to come in and buy it because they wanted to build a strip center. But a group of locals here decided, no, we don't want that to happen. So they started an organization to raise money so they could do, restore it. Well, they built the strip center next door. And in 1990, they started restoring the uh, cotton gin. And also in 1990 started this festival. It's an annual festival to raise money for the cotton gin. Ironically, in 1999, the little strip center that, that people from Houston came in to build, they ended up turning it into the museum for the <laughs> cotton gin. So it all comes together. And here we are at the festival to raise money to keep this bit of history going. It's really cool. Okay, this engine here in the back 
right there that's running was brought here in 1925. Behind Stacy, there was a railroad track that brought it in and they pulled it in here with a pack of mules to set it into place in 1925. They said it's a type four gas engine. It's kind of like a diesel, it's not a diesel, but it is a gas engine. 1925, that's pretty darn cool. This is modern day equipment. Stacy and I saw these in action. Yep, we've uh, seen them in a lot of places we've gone, cotton country. Yeah, yeah, they're really cool. This festival is normally held in April, but because of everything that was going on in April this year, they postponed it to June. And uh, I'm so glad they didn't just cancel it because this is a great festival. Folk life and music and history and vendors, just a ton of fun. And look, you might be seeing this in a future video. It's together right now, but we found us a dinner bell for our cooking videos made by the blacksmith back there, so we're super excited to have that. <laughs> it's a great day. We, we got our shirts here at the festival. They're awesome. Look at there. <laughs> That's awesome.
Well, we went to the the Texas Rangers booth and we got, and no, not the baseball team, <laughs> <laughs> the actual Texas Rangers, uh, history of the Texas Rangers program. A, a Texas Ranger is the highest police officer in the state of Texas. Absolutely, and uh, to support the Texas Rangers Foundation, picked us up a couple hats, a couple shirts, Yeah. And they have a museum in Waco that's run by the city of Waco, but the Texas Rangers themselves are actually building a museum in Fredericksburg. So they're having to ha they're hoping to have it open for the 200th anniversary of the Rangers in a couple in a I guess 3 years. So looking forward to that.